So it's time to get the other two black coppers that hatch out of the incubator. And let's look at how everything went with this hatch. He's got a little bit of shawl. They definitely had some humidity issues, I'd say. A little bit in those boxes for some reason, but these are the two that hatched out all by themselves and did great. All right, so these are the two other ones and they are doing good. These are the only black coppers that I got to hatch was three out of our eggs. So I'm gonna go put these up in the brooder because they hatched. They hatched after I pulled all the rest of them out. So I'm gonna to try to get them to drink because this will be their first time in. Once a couple chicks figure out how to drink, then the rest of them will usually follow. And this group in this bin is really, really good about drinking. They've done really well, so. I have no questions that they'll teach the other ones how to drink. So we're gonna look at the results of what happened here. So these are the black coppers and when I listened the other day, I could still hear peeping in these eggs. There was at least one that was peeping, but we are, I mean, hatch day was Thursday and this is Sunday. So I'm, there's our frowny face egg. He didn't hatch, but he was not alone. I mean, a lot of these had movement, which makes me think they were full-term chicks and just didn't hatch. So I don't know what the story is there. I've got many more ready to put in. So we'll try again. I will go ahead and leave these in for another day or so, but I don't hear anything in the eggs. So I would say that they unfortunately um, just didn't make it out. Let's look at the other ones. So this is the remainder of the other eggs, all the mixed breed eggs, and there's not an egg left. So out of those, what made it to lockdown, which were viable eggs, they all hatched, which is really awesome. That doesn't happen all the time. Usually there's at least one or two that don't make it to the end. So I'm really pleased with that. And those chicks look so very healthy. See all the yuck and the down and all the broken shells that this all caught makes cleanup much easier. Look at all that yuck and fuzz. They are all doing great and have learned how to get on top of the heat plate and poop all over the top. Really, really happy with this batch of chicks. They're cute. So it's time for me to find them a new home. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and I will catch you the next time.